Lingayatism is a Shaivite Hindu religious tradition in India. Initially known as Virashaivas, since the 18th century adherents of this faith are known as Lingayats. The terms Lingayatism and Virashivism have been used synonymously, but Virashivism may refer to the broader Virashaiva philosophy which predates Lingayatism, to the historical community now called Lingayats, and to a contemporary sub-tradition within Lingayatism with Vedic influences. Meanwhile, Lingayatism may refer to the whole Lingayat community, but also to a contemporary sub-tradition dedicated to Basava's original thought, and to a movement within this community which strives toward recognition as an independent religion. While some Vedic-oriented Virashaivas consider the two contemporary sub-traditions to be one and the same community. Belonging to Hinduism, Lingayatism was founded, or revived, by the 12th century philosopher and statesman Basava in Karnataka. Lingayat scholars thrived in northern Karnataka during the Vijayanagara Empire 14th -18th century. In the 21st century, some Lingayats have sought legal recognition as a religion distinct from Hinduism and Virashaivas, a request which gained support from the Congress led Karnataka government in 2018. Lingayatism is generally considered a Hindu sect as their beliefs include many Hindu elements. Worship is centered on Shiva as the universal god in the iconographic form of Ishtalinga. Lingayatism emphasizes qualified monism, with philosophical foundations similar to those of the 11th–12 th century South Indian philosopher Ramanuja. Lingayatism rejects any form of social discrimination, including the caste system. Contemporary Lingayatism is influential in South India, especially in the state of Karnataka. Lingayats celebrate anniversaries Jayanti of major religious leaders of their tradition, as well as Hindu festivals such as the Shivaratri and Ganesh Chaturthi. Lingayatism has its own pilgrimage places, temples, shrines and religious poetry based on Shiva. Today, Lingayats, along with Shaiva Siddhanta followers, Naths, Pashupaths, Kapalikas and others constitute the Shaiva population. Topic Etymology Lingayatism is derived from the Sanskrit root linga, Shiva icon, and suffix ata. The adherents of Lingayatism are known as Lingayats. In historical literature, they are sometimes referred to as Lingawants, Lingingas, Lingadaras, Savabhaktish, Virasivas, or Virashivas. The term Lingayat is based on the practice of both genders of Lingayats wearing an Istalinga contained inside a silver box with a necklace all the time. The Istalinga is an oval shaped emblem symbolizing Parashiva, the absolute reality and icon of their spirituality. Historically, Lingayats were known as Varasharivas, or ardent, heroic worshippers of Shiva. According to Blake Michael, the term Virashivism refers both to a philosophical or theological system as well as to the historical, social and religious movement which originated from that system." Lingayatism refers to the modern adherents of this religion. The term Lingayats came to be commonly used during the British colonial period. In 1926, the Bombay High Court ruled that the Virashivas are not Shudras, they are Lingi Brahmins Brahmins who wear the linga of the highest order. Quote, While the administrators of the 1931 census were instructed to list them as Lingi Brahmins, the term was not being used by Lingayats to describe themselves. The terms Lingayatism and Virashivism have been used synonymously. Virashivism refers to the broader Virashiva philosophy and theology as well as the movement, states Blake Michael, while Lingayata refers to the modern community, sect or caste that adheres to this philosophy. In the contemporary era, some state that Virashiva is a sub tradition within Lingayatism with Vedic influences, and these sources have been seeking a political recognition of Lingayatism to be separate from Virashivism, and Lingayatism to be a separate religion. 
In contrast, Virashaivas consider the two contemporary sub traditions to be one and the same community belonging to Hinduism. Topic: <laughs> Lingayatism and Virashaivism. The origins of Lingayatism is traced to the 11th and 12th century CE in a region that includes northern Karnataka and nearby districts of South India. This region was a stronghold of Jainism and Shaivism. According to Iyer and other scholars, the Lingayatism theology emerged as a definitive egalitarian movement in this theological milieu, grew rapidly beyond North Karnataka. The Lingayats, states Berger Avari quoting Jar, were extremely anti Jain. The Virashaiva philosophy enabled Lingayats to win over the Jains to Shiva worship. The Lingayats were also anti Brahman, as evidenced by the polemics against the Brahmins in early Virashaiva literature, much like the periodic anti Brahman polemics found in South Indian Hindu literature. According to a tradition which developed after Basava's time, Virashaivism was transmitted by five Panchacharyas, namely Renukacharya, Darukacharya, Ekarama, Pandatharadya, and Vishwaswara, and first taught by Renukacharya to sage Agasthya, a Vedic. A central text in this tradition is Siddhanta Shikamani, which was written in Sanskrit, and gives an elaboration of the primitive traits of Virashaivism found in the Vedas and the Upanishads, and the concrete features given to it in the latter parts of the Saivagamas. While Virashaivas regard the Siddhanta Shikamani to predate Basava, it may actually have been composed in the 13th or 14th century, post dating Basava. According to Gauri Lankesh, Lingayats are followers of Basavana, while Virashaivism is a Vedic Shaiva tradition, which accepts the Vedic texts and practices like caste and gender discrimination. Basava's reform movement attracted Shaivite Brahmins from Andhra Pradesh, a century after Basava. Their descendants started mixing practices from their former religion with Lingayatism. Basava's teachings also got mixed up with Vedic teachings because much Sharana literature was lost after the exile of Sharana authors from the Bijala kingdom. According to Gauri Lankesh, Virashaivism is preserved and transmitted by five Pithas Rambapuri, Ujjaini, Kedar, Shrishale, Kashi, which play an essential role in the Virashaiva tradition. In contrast, the Virakta monastic organization upheld the ideals of Basava and his contemporaries. According to Berry, the Virakta tradition criticized t he Panchacharya tradition, the mathas which belonged to it and the upper castes which owed their allegiance to them. For their support of Brahmins and their deviation from Basava's ideals, according to Sri Sharam Basava Devaru of Karantashwar Mutt, interviewed in 2013, Lingayatism is a separate religion, distinct from the Hindu cultural identity, while Virashivism is a Shaivite sect, based on Vedic philosophy. Sri Sharam Basava Devaru further states that Virashivism started gaining importance only after 1904 with some mutts mixing Virashaivism with Lingayatism." According to India Today, while, "...Virashaivas claim that the two communities are one and the same," Orthodox Lingayats claim that they are different. Lingayats claim that Virashaivas do not truly follow Basava, accept Vedic literature, and "...worship idols of Lord Shiva." Virashaivas further owe allegiance to various religious centers mutts, while the Lingayats mostly follow their own gurus. History Basava The Sharana movement, which started in the 11th century, is regarded by some as the start of Virashaivism. It started in a time when Kalamukha Shaivism, which was supported by the ruling classes, was dominant, and in control of the monasteries. 
The Sharana movement was inspired by the Nayanas, and emphasized personal religious experience over text based dogmatism. The traditional legends and hagiographic texts state Basava to be the founder of the Lingayats and its secular practices. He was a 12th century Hindu philosopher, statesman, Kannada poet in the Shiva focused Bhakti movement, and a social reformer during the reign of the Kalachuri king Bijala II in Karnataka, India. Basava grew up in a Brahmin family with a tradition of Shaivism. As a leader, he developed and inspired a new devotional movement named Varasharivas, or ardent, heroic worshippers of Shiva. This movement shared its roots in the ongoing Tamil Bhakti movement, particularly the Shaiva Nayanas traditions, over the 7th to 11th century. However, Basava championed devotional worship that rejected temple worship with rituals led by Brahmins, and emphasized personalized direct worship of Shiva through practices such as individually worn icons and symbols like a small linga. Basavana spread social awareness through his poetry, popularly known as Vachanas. Basavana rejected gender or social discrimination, and caste distinctions, as well as some extant practices such as the wearing of sacred thread, and replaced this with the ritual of wearing Ishtalinga necklace, with an image of the Shiva Linga, by every person regardless of his or her birth, to be a constant reminder of one's bhakti loving devotion to God Shiva. As the chief minister of his kingdom, he introduced new public institutions such as the Anubhava Mantapa or, the Hall of Spiritual Experience, which welcomed men and women from all socio-economic backgrounds to discuss spiritual and mundane questions of life. In open, after initially supporting Basava, King Bijala II disagreed with Basava's rejection of caste distinctions. In 1167, the Virashivas were repressed, and most of them left Kalyana, Bijala's new capital, spreading Basava's teachings into a wider area in southern India. The king was assassinated by the Virashivas in 1168. Topic: <laughs> Consolidation, 12th-14th century. After Basava's death, Shaivism consolidated its influence in southern India, meanwhile adjusting to Hindu orthodoxy. Basava's nephew Chana Basava organized the community and systematized Virasaiva theology, moving the Virashaiva community toward the mainstream Hindu culture. Basava's role in the origins of Shaivism was downplayed, and a mythology developed in which the origins of Virashaivism were attributed to the five Panchakarias, descending to earth in the different world ages to teach Shaivism. In this narrative, Basava was regarded as a reviver of this ancient teaching. Monasteries of the older Saiva schools, such as the Kalamaka, were taken over by the Virasaivas. Two kinds of monastic orders developed. Due to their roots in the traditional schools, the Gurustorada monasteries were more conservative, while the Viraktish constituted the true Virasaiva monastic organization, shaped by the ideals of Basava and his contemporaries. Topic: <laughs> Vijayanagara Empire, 15th-17th century. In the 14th–15th century, a Lingayat revival took place in northern Karnataka in the Vijayanagara Empire. The Lingayats likely were a part of the reason why Vijayanagara succeeded in territorial expansion and in withstanding the Deccan Sultanate Wars. The Lingayat text Sunyasampadane grew out of the scholarly discussions in an Anubhava Mantapa, and according to Bill Aitken, these were compiled at the Vijayanagara court during the reign of Prada Deva Raya". Similarly, the scripture of Lingayatism Basava Purana was completed in 1369 during the reign of Vijayanagara ruler Bukha Raya I. <laughs> <laughs> Ikari Nayakas, Keladi dynasty 16th -18th century. The Virasivas were an important part of the Vijayanagara Empire army. 
they fought the Bijapur sultans, and the Virasiva leader Sardasiva Nayaka played a key role in leading the capture of Sultanate fortress such as at Gulbarga. This success led to Nayaka being appointed as the governor of the coastal Karnataka Kanara region. This emerged as a Lingayat dynasty, called the Nayakas of Keladi. Another group of Virasivas merchants turned warriors of the Vijayanagara Empire were successful in defeating the Deccan Sultanates in the Lepakshi region, Karnataka Andhra Pradesh border region. After the collapse of the Vijayanagara Empire, the Lingayat Keladi Ikari dynasty ruled the coastal Karnataka till the invasion and their defeat by Hyder Ali seeking a Mysore based sultanate. The Virasiva dynasty Nayaka rulers built major 16th to 18th century shrines and seminaries of Lingayatism, repaired and built new Hindu and Jain temples, sponsored major Hindu monasteries such as the Advaita Sringeri Matha and the Vaishnava Udupi Mathas, as well as forts and temples such as at Chitradurga. They also started new towns and merchant centers in coastal and interior Karnataka. <laughs> Caste status debates 19th, 20th century. In early decades of the 19th century, the Lingayats were described by British officials such as Francis Buchanan as a conglomeration of Hindu castes with enormous diversity and eclectic, egalitarian social system that accepted converts from all social strata and religions. However, the British officials also noted the endogamous tradition and hereditary occupations of many Lingayats, which made their classification difficult. In the 1871 and the 1881 colonial era census of British India, Lingayats were listed as Shudras. According to the sociologist M. N. Srinivas, Lingayats traditionally believed themselves to be equal in status to Brahmins, and some orthodox Lingayats were so anti-Brahmin that they would not eat food cooked or handled by Brahmins. The egalitarian Lingayats, state Srinivas, had been a major force in Sanskritization of Kannada speaking Karnataka and nearby regions but against elitism. After being placed in the Shudra category in the 1881 census, Lingayats demanded a higher caste status. This was objected and ridiculed by a Brahmin named Rangana who said that Lingayats were not Shaiva Brahmins given their eclectic occupations that included washermen, traders, agriculture and others, as well as their exogamous relationships with the royal family. Lingayats persisted in their claims for decades, and their persistence was strengthened by Lingayat presence within the government, and a growing level of literacy and employment in journalism and the judiciary. In 1926, the Bombay High Court ruled that, "...the Virashivas are not Shudras." According to Shouten, in the early 20th century Lingayats tried to raise their social status, by stressing the specific characteristics of their history and of their religious thought as being distinctive from the Brahmin-dominated Hindu culture. In the 1910s, the narrative of Basava and Alama as the "...founding pillars." Of the Lingayats gained new importance for the identity of parts of the Lingayat community, with other parts responded with rejection of this resurrection. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Separate religious identity, 21st century. According to Ramanujan. A modern attempt was made to show Lingayats as having a religion separate from Hindu when Lingayats received discrete entry in the Indian constitution of 1950. Individuals and community leaders have made intermittent claims for the legal recognition of either being distinct from Hinduism or a caste within Hinduism. In 2000, the Akila Bharatha All India Virashiva Mahasava started a campaign for recognition of Vera Shaivas or Lingayats, as a non Hindu religion, and a separate listing in the census. Recognition as a religious minority would make Lingayats eligible for rights to open and manage educational institutions given by the constitution to religious and linguistic minorities. 
In 2013, the Akila Bharatha All India Virashiva Mahasava president was still lobbying for recognition of Lingayatism as a separate religion, arguing that Lingayatism rejects the social discrimination propagated by Hinduism. In 2017, the demands for a separate religious identity gained further momentum on the eve of the 2018 elections in Karnataka. While the Congress Party supports the calls for Lingayatism as a separate religion, the BJP regards Lingayats as Virashaivas and Hindus. In August 2017, a rally march supporting Lingayatism as, "...not Hinduism", attracted almost 200,000 people, while the issue further divides the Lingayat and Virashaiva communities, and various opinions exist within the Lingayat and Virashaiva communities. According to India Today, Virashaivas claim that the two communities are one and the same, while Orthodox Lingayats claim that they are different. Virashaivas further owe allegiance to various religious centers, muts, while the Lingayats mostly follow their own gurus. Nevertheless, some muts support the campaign for the status of a separate religion, while others content to be counted as a caste within Hinduism. In March 2018, the Nagamo and Das Committee advised, "...to form a separate religion status for the Lingayats community." In response, the Karnataka government approved this separate religious status, a decision which was decried by Virashivas. It recommended the Indian government to grant the religious minority status to the sect. Characteristics Lingayatism is often considered a Hindu sect, because it shares beliefs with Indian religions, and their Lingayats beliefs are syncretistic and include an assemblage of many Hindu elements, including the name of their god, Shiva, who is one of the chief figures of the Hindu pantheon. Its worship is centered on Hindu god Shiva as the universal god in the iconographic form of Ishtalinga. They believe that they will be reunited with Shiva after their death by wearing the lingam. <laughs> Ishtalinga Lingayatism worship is centered on the Hindu god Shiva as the universal god in the iconographic form of Ishtalinga. The Lingayats always wear the Ishtalinga held with a necklace. The Ishtalinga is made up of small blue-black stone coated with fine durable thick black paste of cow dung ashes mixed with some suitable oil to withstand wear and tear. The Ishtalinga is a symbolism for Lord Shiva. It is viewed as a living, moving divinity with the Lingayat devotee. Every day, the devotee removes this personal linga from its box, places it in left palm, offers puja and then meditates about becoming one with the linga, in his or her journey towards the Atma linga. <laughs> Soteriology Shatsthala Lingayatism teaches a path to an individual spiritual progress, and describes it as a six-stage Satsthala Siddhanta. This concept progressively evolves. The individual starts with the phase of a devotee, the phase of the master, the phase of the receiver of grace. Linga in life breath God dwells in his or her soul. The phase of surrender awareness of no distinction in God and soul, self. The last stage of complete union of soul and God liberation, mukti, thus bhakti progresses from external icon-aided loving devotional worship of Shiva to deeper fusion of awareness with abstract Shiva, ultimately to Advaita oneness of one's soul and God for moksha. Topic. Mukti 
While they accept the concept of transmigration of soul metempsychosis, reincarnation, they believe that Lingayats are in their last lifetime, and believe that will be reunited with Shiva after their death by wearing the lingam. Lingayats are not cremated, but are buried in a sitting, meditative position, holding their personal linga in the right hand." Indologist F. Otto Schrader was among early scholars who studied Lingayat texts and its stand on metempsychosis. According to Schrader, it was Abbe Dubois who first remarked that Lingayatism rejects metempsychosis, the belief that the soul of a human being or animal transmigrates into a new body after death. This remark about rejecting rebirth was repeated by others, states Schrader, and it led to the question whether Lingayatism is a religion distinct from other Indian religions such as Hinduism, where metempsychosis and rebirth is a fundamental premise. According to Schrader, Dubois was incorrect, and Lingayat texts such as Varama Hesvarakara Samgraha, Anadi Virasivasara Samgraha, Sivatattva Ratnakara by Basava, and Lingate Paramasvara Agama confirm that metempsychosis is a fundamental premise of Lingayatism. According to Schrader, Lingayats believe that if they live an ethical life then this will be their last life, and they will merge into Shiva, a belief that has fed the confusion that they do not believe in rebirth. According to R. Blake Michael, rebirth and ways to end rebirth was extensively discussed by Basava, Alama Prabhu, Siddharameshawa and other religious saints of Lingayatism. Topic. Shiva, non-dualism and qualified monism Topic. Qualified non-dualism Shunya, in a series of Kannada language texts, is equated with the Varashiva concept of the Supreme. In particular, the Shunya Sampadane texts present the ideas of Alama Prabhu in a form of dialogue, where Shunya is that void and distinctions which a spiritual journey seeks to fill and eliminate. It is the described as state of union of one's soul with the infinite Shiva, the state of blissful moksha. This Lingayat concept is similar to Shunya Brahma concept found in certain texts of Vishnavism, particularly in Odiya, such as the poetic Panchasikas. It explains the Nirguna Brahman idea of Vedanta, that is the eternal unchanging metaphysical reality as personified void. Alternate names for this concept of Hinduism, include Shunya Purusha and Jagannatha in certain texts. However, both in Lingayatism and various flavors of Vishnavism such as Mahima Dharma, the idea of Shunya is closer to the Hindu concept of metaphysical Brahman, rather than to the Sunyata concept of Buddhism. However, there is some overlap, such as in the works of Bhima Bhoi, Sripati, a Virashaiva scholar, explained Lingayatism philosophy in Srikara Bhashya, in Vedanta terms, stating Lingayatism to be a form of qualified non-dualism, wherein the individual Atman soul is the body of God, and that there is no difference between Shiva and Atman self, soul. Shiva is one's Atman, one's Atman is Shiva. Sripati's analysis places Lingayatism in a form closer to the 11th century Vishishtadvaita philosopher Ramanuja, than to Advaita philosopher Adi Shankara. <laughs> <laughs> Qualified monism Other scholars state that Lingayatism is more complex than the description of the Virasiva scholar Sripati. It united diverse spiritual trends during Basava's era. Jan Peter Schouten states that it tends towards monotheism with Shiva as the Godhead, but with a strong awareness of the monistic unity of the ultimate reality. Schouten calls this as a synthesis of Ramanuja's Vishishtadvaita and Shankara's Advaita traditions, naming it Shakti Vishishtadvaita, that is monism fused with Shakti beliefs. But Basava's approach is different than Adi Shankara, states Shouten, in that Basava emphasizes the path of devotion, compared to Shankara's emphasis on the path of knowledge a system of monistic Advaita philosophy widely discussed in Karnataka in the time of Basava. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Ethical conduct. Topic: Panchakaras. The Panchakaras describe the five codes of conduct to be followed by the Lingayats. The Panchakaras include Lingachara – daily worship of the individual Ishtalinga icon, one to three times day. Sadachara – attention to vocation and duty, and adherence to the seven rules of conduct issued by Basavana. Kala Beda – do not steal. Kola Beda do not kill or hurt. Husiya Nudialu Beda do not utter lies. Thana Banasabeda do not praise yourself asterisk i.e. practice humility. Idira Halialu Beda do not criticize others. Maniya Beda shun anger. Eniaraja Sarya Padabeda do not be intolerant towards others. Sivachara – acknowledging Shiva as the supreme divine being and upholding the equality and well-being of all human beings. Brityachara – compassion towards all creatures. Ganachara – defense of the community and its tenets. <laughs> Ashtavarana The Ashtavaranas, the eightfold armor that shields the devotee from extraneous distraction and worldly attachments. The Ashtavaranas include Guru – obedience towards Guru, the mentor Linga – wearing the Ishtalinga on your body at all times Jangama – reverence for Shiva ascetics as incarnations of divinity Padodaka – sipping the water used for bathing the Linga Prasada – sacred offerings Vibhuti – smearing holy ash on oneself daily Rudraksha – wearing a string of Rudraksha holy beads, seeds of Eliocarpus ganitris. Mantra – reciting the mantra of Nama Shivaya – salutation to Shiva <laughs> Kaya Kav Kailasa doctrine and karma Kaya Kav Kailasa is a slogan in Varasaravism. It means, work is heaven, or to work Kayakav is to be in the Lord's kingdom. Kailasa". Some scholars translate Kayaka as, worship, ritual, while others translate it as, work, labor. The slogan is attributed to Basava, and generally interpreted to signify a work ethic for all social classes. Lingayat poet saints accepted the concept of karma and repeatedly mention it in their Shiva poetry. For example, states Ramanujan, Mahadivyaka mentions karma and resulting chain of rebirths that are cut short by bhakti to Shiva. Lingayatism has the concepts of karma and dharma, but the Lingayatism doctrine of karma is not one of fate and destiny. Lingayats believe in kayaka work and the transformative potential of one's work in the here and now. According to Shouten, Siddharama and Alama debated the doctrine of karma as the law of work and merit, but Alama persuaded Siddharama that such merit is a low level mechanism, and real mystical achievement transcends the sphere of works and rewards", and is void of self-interest. These ideas, states Shouten, are similar to those found in Bhagavad Gita which teaches, "...work must be done without any attachment to the results". <laughs> Dasoha doctrine Dasoha is the purpose and result of Kayakav Kailasa in Lingayatism. Dasoha means, service, and more specifically, service to other Lingayats, including the Jangama. Regardless of one's vocation, Lingayatism suggests giving and donating a part of one's time, effort, and income to one's community and to religious mendicants. According to Varasaravism, skillful work and service to one's community, without discrimination, is a means to experiencing the divine, a sentiment that continues to be revered in present day Virasivas. 
According to Jan Peter Schouten, this doctrine is philosophically rooted in the more ancient Saham Sanskrit oneness mantra related to Shiva, and which means, I am he. This social ethic is also found among other Hindu communities of South India, and includes community provisioning of grains and sharing other essentials particularly with poorer members of society and those affected by natural or other disasters. <laughs> Lingadarain Lingadarain is the ceremony of initiation among Lingayats. Though Lingadarain can be performed at any age, it is usually performed when a fetus in the womb is seven to eight months old. The family guru performs puja and provides the Ishtalinga to the mother, who then ties it to her own Ishtalinga until birth. At birth the mother secures the new Ishtalinga to her child. Upon attaining the age of 8 to 11 years, the child receives diksha from the family guru to know the proper procedure to perform puja of Ishtalinga. From birth to death, the child wears the linga at all times and it is worshipped as a personal Ishtalinga. The linga is wrapped in a cloth housed in a small silver and wooden box. It is to be worn on the chest, over the seat of the indwelling deity within the heart. Some people wear it on the chest or around the body using a thread. Vegetarianism Lingayats are strict vegetarians. Devout Lingayats do not consume beef, or meat of any kind including fish. The drinking of alcohol is prohibited. Topic. Militancy The early Lingayat literature, including the Basava Purana, highly praises militant action against anyone who persecutes a fellow Lingayat or their ability to practice their Shiva Bhakti traditions. According to Shouten, one of earliest assassinations in retaliation for persecution happened in the 12th century when King Bijala was murdered. However, states Shouten, the early texts of Lingayats give different accounts on who ordered the assassination leading to doubts about the trustworthiness of these historic texts. <laughs> Temples and rites of passage Varashaivas believe that the human body is a temple. In addition, they have continued to build the community halls and Shaiva temple traditions of South India. Their temples include Shiva Linga in the sanctum, a sitting Nandi facing the Linga, with Mandapa and other features. However, the prayers and offerings are not led by Brahmin priests but by Lingayat priests. The temple format is simpler than those of Jains and Hindus found in North Karnataka. In some parts of Karnataka, these temples are samadhis of Lingayat saints, in others such as the Viravadra temple of Belgavi, one of the important pilgrimage sites for Lingayats, and other historic temples. The Shiva temple is operated and maintained by Lingayat priests. Many rural Lingayat communities include the images of Shiva, Pavati and Ganesha in their wedding invitations, while Ganesha festivities are observed by both rural and urban Lingayats in many parts of Karnataka. Colonial era reports by British officials confirm that Lingayats observed Ganesha Chaturthi in the 19th century. Topic: Festivals. Sadarameshawa Jayanti Solapur, January 14, Sankranti. Alamaprabhu Jayanti, Ugadi. Maha Shivaratri. Basava Jayanti. Akamahadevi Jayanti. Basava Panchami, known as Nag Panchami, on this day Basava merged with God. Nilama Shashti next day of Basava Panchami on this day Nilagangam bike merged with God Madhaval Mashideva Jayanti Ganesh Chaturthi Chanabasavana Jayanti Deepavali Topic 
Topic: Literature. Topic: Lingayat literature. Several works are attributed to the founder of Lingayatism movement, Basava, and these texts are revered in the Lingayat community. In particular, these include various vachana, literally, what is said, such as the Shat Stala Vachana, Kala J Nana Vachana, Mantra Gopya, Gatachakra Vachana, and Raja Yoga Vachana. Saints and Sharanas like Alamaprabhu, Akka Mahadevi, Siddharama and Basava were at the forefront of this development during the 12th century. Other important Lingayat literature includes Shunyasampadane Mantra Gopya Shunya Sampadane Karana Hasuth Basava Purana, a Telugu biographical epic poem which narrates the life story of Basava, was written by Palkuriki Somanatha in 13th century, and an updated 14th century Kannada version was written by Bhima Kavi in 1369. Both are sacred texts in Lingayatism. Vedas and Shastras Lingayat thinkers rejected the custodial hold of Brahmins over the Vedas and the Shastras, but they did not outright reject the Vedic knowledge. The 13th century Telugu Virashaiva poet Palkuriki Somanatha, author of Basava Purana a scripture of Virashaivas, for example, asserted, Virashaivism fully conformed to the Vedas and the Shastras. Somanatha repeatedly stated that. He was a scholar of the four Vedas. Lingayatism considers the Vedas as a means, but not the sanctimonious end. It rejected various forms of ritualism and the uncritical adherence to any text, including the Vedas. Topic: <laughs> Anubhava Mantapa. The Anubhava Mantapa literally means the. Hall of Spiritual Experience. It has been a Lingayat institution since the time of Basava, serving as an academy of mystics, saints, and poet philosophers for discussion of spiritual and mundane questions of life, in open. It was the fountainhead of all religious and philosophical thought pertaining to the Lingayata. It was presided over by the mystic Alamaprabhu, and numerous sharanas from all over Karnataka and other parts of India were participants. This institution also helped propagate Lingayatism religious and philosophical thought. Akka Mahadevi, Chana Basavana and Basavana himself were participants in the Anubhava Mantapa. Topic demographics Lingayats today are found predominantly in the state of Karnataka, especially in north and central Karnataka with a sizable population native to South Karnataka. Lingayats have been estimated to be about 20% of Karnataka's population, and in the state of Maharashtra forming for about 9% of state population. Significant populations are also found in parts of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana bordering Karnataka, as well as Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Gujarat. The Lingayat diaspora can be found in countries around the world, particularly the United States, Britain and Australia. Today, the Lingayat community is a blend of various castes, consisting of SC, OBC, working classes and various Vaishya castes that have come together to form the single political entity. Topic: See also Lingam Jangam List of Lingayats Notes <laughs> <laughs>